I started running really competitively in the eighth grade. By the time I hit my junior year, I was getting recruited to a ton of schools around the country, and I was thinking really seriously about what that would mean and how I could get scholarship to pay for my education. I had my first heart attack in July during a summer training program for cross country. I was on a very standard six mile run. When around mile three, I started having chest pains. At mile five, I stopped running because my chest pains became more severe. I was profusely sweating. I had a pain in my left shoulder. I had a headache, I was nauseous, I had really bad chest pressure. And I knew that I needed help. I did a little walk jog back to my high school ended up going to the hospital, and after some testing, they determined that I'd had my first heart attack. It was the first of a series of six that occurred within a two-year span of my life before I turned 18. I was taught that heart disease is the symptom of poor decision-making. If you're not exercising, if you're not eating well, if you're drinking a lot of alcohol or smoking, if you're overweight, you know, all those things lead to heart disease. Not running 60 plus miles a week and eating really well and being really fit, trying to get recruited to a Division I track program. And so I was shocked, I was floored. I thought, this is not accurate and they must have lost their minds. And so I thought, how embarrassing. What is it that I did wrong that this is what's happening to me now? And so I just really kept it a secret. My teachers didn't know, my teammates didn't know, my friends didn't know what was going on and why I wasn't at school all the time. And so it was a really personal and very isolating time in my life because I had internalized it and I thought that I had done something wrong. But the reality is that this is really something that can happen to anybody. But I really got serious about talking about it and really got open about it when I joined the Miss America Opportunity. The Miss America thing was a bucket list item that stemmed from those two years where I was really sick and with a lot of un unknowns. And there was a time in my life where I went to bed every night thinking that it might be my last. And so I thought, if this is the end of my life, I want to feel like I've lived. Every person in the Miss America Opportunity has a service initiative, and it's your priority focus for your year of service. And so I picked heart health immediately because it is the thing that's killing the majority of Americans. It's something that's affected my life personally. It's something that impacts all of us in some way or another. And so it was a really easy decision. But what I've found is that the opportunities that I've had as Miss DC have been so incredible since I've been able to really tangibly change the way that people view their own heart health here in the district and beyond, but also because I've healed a lot and I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot from telling my story. There's a lot of life-saving change that can happen when you talk about it. Most people don't survive one heart attack and I survived six. So I feel a deep responsibility, especially to women, as somebody who is not only just living with heart disease, but thriving with heart disease, to continue this conversation and really let women know that we have to put ourselves first. We have to prioritize our own heart health, we have to prioritize our stress management, because this is something that is really impacting all of us. Heart disease is the number one killer of women in the United States. It has consistently been that way for a very long time. And so it's really important that we as women think about ourselves, prioritize our health, and put ourselves first. Yes, you.